When Rihanna does it. I'm gonna know and love and attention. I'm gonna love and people are like, I love it. But when that song came out, that's where I saw how polite Canadians are because Drake was on the song and he was featuring as a rapper. And if there's one thing you know about rap is that although it's popular, it goes hand in hand with misogyny, right? One thing that always happens in rap is, if a rapper comes in to an R&B singer song, he takes over, that's the rule. Okay, who it is? You can be the top R&B singer in the world if you're a female R&B singer and you're singing, the rapper comes in, he takes your song. Always be like, they'll be out there like, this is my song, I'm singing my song, singing my song, yeah, I'm singing my song. It's my song, it's my song, singing my song. And then the rapper comes in, he's like, remix! My song now, my song now, now it's my song. I will do my own thing, my own rhythm sometimes. I don't even care, my own beat, my song now, my song, yeah, I'm done. All right, you can have your song back. Now it's my song again. Thank you for forgiving me my song again. It's my song, this is my song, this is my song again. That's what rap is. But Drake is so polite, his Canadian overcame his rapper. Because you listen to the song work, and what happens? Rihanna is the one, and she's out there in front, like da 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 da, singing on a burr 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 burr. And then Drake comes in, he's like, you need to get down 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 down, and you come over. That's feminism right there.